Hello and welcome to the Library Connection. I'm Summer Newman Ernest. The library staff and board would like to thank TV47 for giving us the opportunity to showcase our library and its service to the greater Sylacauga community area. Joining me today, I have multiple guests, but first of all, we have Dan Nixon and Sharon Tankersley Wright. They are director and co-director of the upcoming production, The Miracle Worker by Sylacauga Community Playhouse. Dan, I know we've had you on before with yes. some different productions, but yes. you guys just keep rolling them out. Out. Uh, first of all, just tell me a quick overview of dates, times, all that for somebody who's just joining in, uh, sure. when they can catch this. Absolutely. Of course, The Miracle Worker is the story of Helen Keller and Annie Sullivan, and it opens April 21st. And we will run two complete weekends for performances. You can always visit our website, which is scplayhouse.com, and get tickets there and more show information. But we have April 21st, and that show will start at 6.30. Uh, Saturday, April 22nd at 2 o'clock and 6.30. Sunday at 2 o'clock. And then, of course, the next weekend, we've got Friday at 6.30, Saturday at 2 and 6.30, and Sunday at 2 o'clock uh, as well. And all of those will be at the Comer Auditorium there at the Comer High School. Okay, at B.B. Comer High School. So many opportunities uh, to see it. And I know we're going to get to even the other productions that you're doing throughout the week. There's a lot going on. I know that this is something that didn't happen overnight. Let's just go back to Silicon Community Playhouse. Sharon, what's your involvement with it, and how has this sort of... Uh, parlayed into you being assistant director for this production. Well, in 1989, I did my first production with Sylacauga Community Playhouse, and I was the wicked stepmother in Cinderella. Yes. And it, I sort of got bit by the theater bug then. Um, I did some work in college, and then when I moved back here and the Playhouse started again, I became involved again. And the last thing I did with the Playhouse was to star as Trevi Jones, in Steel Magnolias, which was a wonderful experience. Dan was our director, and he is just amazing. He really is a genius, and he's very <laughs> humble about it, too. Um, but he is wonderful to work with, so when he approached me about the Miracle Worker show and asked if I would consider being assistant director, I said, absolutely. I would love to work with him again. Well, for anyone who did not catch Still Magnolias, you did a wonderful job. Oh, like Everybody Thank thinks you. it's Dolly Parton's role. It is yes. the best role. Yeah. How it can is. you not? You just really nailed it. And I think so Thank many you. people, I was involved in it as a child too. And so people who grew up here mm -hmm. in Sylacauga played such a vital role, not only for the adult, but for the children's community. And I think when we saw the revitalization and it coming back, it got so many people excited who had grown up doing Sylacauga yes, Community right. Playhouse Absolutely. productions. And so Dan, uh, beyond uh, the uh, Still Magnolias, what other productions have you had recently? So we uh, we had a full season and re really have been running four to five shows each year, each season, which has really been great. We've done things like the Adams Family Musical. We just finished Charlie Brown the Musical, so we've got several musicals that are in there. Still Magnolias was a great show that we did. We also did a radio broadcast show from a lot of old-time radio that you would have had, and we did that as kind of a reader's theater type right. of situation. And of course, we've got The Miracle Worker coming up. And following The Miracle Worker, every summer we have summer camp. And for kids that are from age five through age 19, and this year it will be Aladdin Jr., the musical, wow. the Disney musical Aladdin Jr. So very excited about that. Auditions will be coming up in May, and then the performances, I believe, will be uh, in July. And it's so exciting just to see a wide variety. And there's something for everyone, rather, to Absolutely. be in it or to come and see it. So how did you choose this particular play, The Miracle Worker, or why did you choose it? Well, it was probably back in October. We were looking at different productions, different plays of what we can do in the spring. And we were considering, considering musicals like 9 to 5 and other shows <laughs> as well. And so when this one came across, I was like, that's it. And as a director, I like to choose plays that, one, are based on something that is true and that is inspirational, that is going to teach some type of life challenge and be inspirational to people in their lives and how they can improve. And so I think with The Miracle Worker, the true story of Helen Keller and Annie Sullivan, the beginning stages of it, the fact that it took place in Tuscumbia, Alabama, right, right here, uh, it is a Southern play. And also, I think our timing with uh, Craig R. Brown, you know, our artist doing the marble statue for or Ivy Green. Uh, it just seemed like the right time. 
Absolutely. And for anybody, we're in the middle of the Marble Festival. And so, yes, our resident sculptor, Craig Brown, is finishing up his work on his piece, which actually depicts Annie Sullivan and Helen Keller at that pump. And so that is a wonderful tie-in. Sharon, tell me about the audition process, the rehearsals. I know there's so much that goes into it way before we get to see it on stage. Oh, absolutely. Um, aud auditions for this show were particularly interesting because we actually auditioned for Charlie Brown the Musical and the Miracle Worker at the same time. Oh, wow. So we had extensive auditions for this show. Um, if you want to audition for any show, you can check out scplayhouse.com and that is how we got a lot of our interest generated for this particular show. Uh, we usually have auditions at the Senior Center and you just show up and fill an application out and then we give you some things to read. Um, there are some monologues that you can memorize ahead of time that you can find at our website. And then we meet as an audition committee and we decide who is best for each role. Rehearsals for this particular show, Dan made it almost painless <laughs> because, because it is such a big show and there's so much involved with it. We started our rehearsals in January and we rehearsed once a week until February, twice a week in February, and then since March, we've rehearsed three or four times a week. Uh, it is sort of a large cast. Right. When you consider the people that are at the Perkins School, we have a, a large group of children that play blind students. We have the family themselves, and then some peripheral characters also. And so we have stacked our rehearsals to meet the needs of our cast. Uh, we have had some rehearsals with main cast members and some with everyone and some with the others. So Dan really has the gift for scheduling. Well, and I think it shows once it gets on stage all the hard work that goes into it. In fact, we're going to meet two of your cast uh, members in just a bit, the ones that actually play, and this will be interesting to find out, there's actually two Helens. Absolutely. Uh, and why did you decide to do that? I, well, one of the things that we looked at is, you know, this early stage of Helen Keller's life, uh, where she, you know, was deaf and blind at 19 months, she became kind of inner trapped that there was a lot of destiny and purpose and very smart lady, brilliant lady who has reached, you know, generations since then. And all of that was trapped inside. And so that trapped inside became anger, it became frustration, it became tantrums. And so the role is very physically demanding. Right. And with as many shows as we have, and then the educational shows, there's six of those, we wanted to have a double cast because when you uh, are putting that much energy on stage and that much physical activity, you really need to rest before your next performance. Right. And some days we have two performances right. at the same time. And it's such a big role, such a challenging role that thankfully we found two incredible actresses that Here you guys locally. Meet. Yes. So I want to take a commercial break. Uh, and when we come back, we will be joined by the two young lovely ladies who will be playing the role of Helen. Uh, we'll be back in just a moment. Shawnee McNeil at South First Bank. This is a great time for you to buy or build a new home or maybe refinance your present mortgage. Our rates are the lowest they've been in years and that means saving you money. We've been helping our customers become homeowners in this area for nearly 70 years and we can make our approvals right here in the office and that means saving you time. We're located here in downtown Sylacauga. Come in and find South First, a better way to bank. Member FDIC, an equal housing lender. At Marble City Pharmacy, we're more than just a drugstore. Our gift shop boasts some of the most unique treasures you'll find anywhere. Come in and browse the vast selection of jewelry, purses, clothing accessories, and crafts. Let our friendly staff help you find that special card or gift for any occasion. 
Our dollar wall features selected sale items, and we stock a wide variety of specialty items. And if it is a drugstore you need, Marble City Pharmacy was named the 2015 McKesson National Pharmacy of the Year. Visit us today at Marble City Pharmacy. Connect to nature. Connect to family. Camping World is here to help you make lasting memories. With thousands of parts and accessories available, service nationwide and RVs as low as $109 a month, Camping World has it all. Now is your time to connect to excitement with savings on thousands of RVs. Plus, enjoy Good Sam Elite membership with every RV purchase. Visit your local Camping World Supercenter or shop CampingWorld.com today. The Allen Companies of Silicaga with three locations to serve you. Highway 511, Highway 280, and Main Avenue. For all your convenience store needs, ice, drinks, snacks, and of course, some of the lowest priced gasoline at the pumps. It's the Allen Companies of Silicaga. Highway 511, Highway 280, and Main Avenue. It's the Allen Company convenience stores. Hello, and welcome back to the Library Connection. I'm Summer Newman Ernest. So excited today to have Sylacauga Community Playhouse with us uh, talking about the upcoming production of The Miracle Worker. We were joined by the director and co uh, assistant director earlier and we'll see them before we end up. But today, right now, we have our two Helens actually playing uh, the role of Helen Keller. We have Braden White and Sydney Harris. Ladies, I want you first of all just to tell me a little bit about yourself, your age, where you go to school, your family. Go ahead. Go. Okay. Um, my name is Braden White. I go to B.B. Comer and I'm 13 years old. My mom and dad are Rebecca and William White and I have one sibling and this is just such a great role to play and I'm so excited. Oh, we're excited. I'm Sydney Harris and I go to Nichols Olsen Middle School. I'm 12 years old <clears throat> and my parents are Jana and Patrick Harris. Okay, now did you know each other before you did yes, this play? Yes, ma'am. We've did. known each, each, each other since we were like three. Yeah. Oh, wow. We've been best friends forever. Well, that kind of works out well. Okay, tell me, how are you preparing? Because when we talk about playing Helen Keller, this is not a normal role. She doesn't speak. Mm -hmm. She doesn't. Uh, she can't see or hear. No, How in the world have you been able to do this? And I know even in auditioning before that, you had to try to play the role to the best of your ability. What have you been doing to prepare for that? Well, it's very physical and it's such a great learning experience, which is awesome, but there's a lot of physical things and it is challenging, but I'm glad I have this position to play because I get to showcase what, like, her feelings that she felt and how frustrated she was and it's just awesome to show that she knows so much already. Right. Yes, and we've been to Ivy Green and we go to the library a lot to read books and stuff about Helen Keller right. and a really fun way that I like to, that we probably do together is we put earplugs in our ears and put a blindfold and we try and find objects around the house mm -hmm. and <laughs> you can get a couple scratches and bruises, but <laughs> I bet. Yes, I bet. Yes. Well, and that's what because I've seen a practice that it's so believable. Because when you talk about playing someone who's both deaf and blind, you can't look at the person that's talking no. to you because no, in reality she didn't know where that person was or even to be able to hear that. How do you even learn? Because you don't have lines. How do you learn? the positions you're supposed to be in and how does that even work? Well, one way that, that this is a way that we've done it before, we listen for key words. So yes. we have to really memorize other people's lines so right. we know what to do. Yes, right. it's it's important that you know what the other cast members are saying so that you can know when to move, where to move, what to do, everything. Well, and I know one of the famous scenes for anybody who's seen uh, the movies is the at breakfast table scene. Yes. <laughs> um, speaking of bruises, there's probably yes. been. And, and who is it that's playing Annie Sullivan, your teacher? Her name is Cheryl. She is so good. Oh yes. my gosh. She is amazing. Such yes. a great actress. You guys had to have a special relationship with her, yes, I know. Uh, because it involves fighting, right? Yes, yes ma'am. Yeah. A lot. Um, is there actual like slapping and hitting? Yes, yes ma'am. It's called a stage slap okay. and it makes it look believable, but um, in the kitchen scene we have a lot of physical demands and stuff and it's exciting to see what happens. It'll definitely put you on the edge of your seat. 
Yes. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Well, I know. And just rolling around and all that. It's like, I can understand why they need two of you. I'm sure you're exhausted after each practice. And so I know not only are you doing productions that will be for the public, but for schools as well. Will your schools be able to see you? Yes, Yes. ma'am. Okay, so Comer and Nichols Lawson. Yes, ma'am. So so you'll be doing productions throughout the week. And, in fact, I think that uh, Mr. Dan Nixon said that over 2,000 students will be able to see you. Is that that intimidating? A little bit. <laughs> it is, but I think we're both excited to showcase Helen Keller's true talents so that the kids can be educated. Right, and yes, what ma'am. an inspiration yes, she ma'am. is. Yes, and we're actually going to a deaf and blind school to perform, so I think right. that'll be a great inspiration to them, too, because, yes. I mean, they have one of those disabilities, so I think just right. letting them see or hear the play is going to be, Definitely. like, Whoa. And what that'll a wonderful in- lesson, them. right, yes. for people to understand that, you know, you might think that you have something that's holding you back, but if she can accomplish all of the things that she has, then anybody can. Isn't yes. Isn't that right? Well, why um, would you encourage people, but beyond the lessons, why should they come to see The Miracle Worker? It's a really exciting play. To I think it's amazing, and I've seen the movie, like, I don't know how many times, <laughs> and I feel like the play goes off of that, but there's just more to it. Right. There's, it's just so amazing, and you will definitely shed a few tears. Mm-hmm. And there's some comedy in it. It's, it's just a little bit of everything. And I it's think it's really good for a whole family. Yeah. You agree? Yes, ma'am. Definitely. Yes. So I know. Um, have you guys done plays before? No, ma'am. This, this is, is both of our first oh. productions. Wow. Yes, yes And ma'am. a starring role. That's a big deal. So now that you've done this play, will you be doing some in the future? Definitely. Oh, definitely. Yes. <laughs> definitely. Definitely. Well, we are excited to see you guys in the coming weeks at the Miracle Worker. We can't wait. So you have to go to more than one performance, right? Yes. So you can see both of them. Yes. Yes. Play Helen. Brayden and Sydney, thank you so much for joining us. We're going to take a commercial ba- uh, break, and we'll be back in just a minute. Shawnee McNeil at South First Bank. This is a great time for you to buy or build a new home or maybe refinance your present mortgage. Our rates are the lowest they've been in years and that means saving you money. We've been helping our customers become homeowners in this area for nearly 70 years and we can make our approvals right here in the office and that means saving you time. We're located here in downtown Sylacauga. Come in and find South First, a better way to bank. Member FDIC, an equal housing lender. At Fort Williams Pharmacy, you won't find motor oil, garden hoses, or mountain climbing gear. Nope, they don't have that. What they do have is a professional, friendly staff that understands your needs. Filling prescriptions is their primary business, and they take it seriously. They also have a drive through window for your convenience and free local delivery. Most of all, Fort Williams Pharmacy knows your time is valuable, so when it's time to fill your prescriptions, you need it done fast, friendly, and accurately. Fort Williams Pharmacy, our family, caring for your family. Connect to nature. Connect to family. Camping World is here to help you make lasting memories. With thousands of parts and accessories available, service nationwide and RVs as low as $109 a month, Camping World has it all. Now is your time to connect to excitement with savings on thousands of RVs. Plus, enjoy Good Sam Elite membership with every RV purchase. Visit your local Camping World Supercenter or shop CampingWorld.com today. Coosa Valley Medical Center, one of the top 10 hospitals in Alabama, is also Sylacauga's largest employer. Services from the emergency room to surgery to cancer treatment to post-stroke care. You won't believe what's right in your backyard. It's Coosa Valley Medical Center in Sylacauga. So, if you're sick in Alabama, choose one of the top 10 hospitals in Alabama. That is Coosa Valley Medical Center. 
Hello and welcome back to the Library Connection. I'm Summer Newman Ernest. Excited today uh, to be talking about Sylacauga Community Playhouse's upcoming production of The Miracle Worker. At the library, we are super excited, of course, to highlight Helen Keller, an inspirational Alabamian, uh, and also the educational aspect. I know Sharon Tankersley Wright, the assistant director, is also in charge of curriculum. There's ways that you're getting this into the school even before they come to see the play, correct? Yes, absolutely. Um, we have school shows the week um, in between uh, our weekend shows. Uh, we have school shows uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, the 25th, 26th, and 27th. We'll be doing two shows each day, wow. uh, one at 9 and one at 1230. We actually already sold out for two of those days. My goodness. We have one afternoon show left and, on Tuesday. And then on Wednesday, we still have some room on Wednesday. So if you're a teacher, an educator, or Absolutely. even a student that would want to come, as long as they can get to B.B. Comer uh, Memorial High School, then I know that they can see it. How would they go about getting tickets or finding out more information about that, Sharon? Uh, they can go to scplayhouse.com, uh, and that will direct you to where you can find student tickets as well as uh, emailing me okay. if they would like to email me at s right s-w-r-i-g-h-t at t-c-b-o-e dot org and the Wednesday shows are very special because we will be having uh, our hearing impaired shows oh, wow. so we will have an uh, interpreter for deaf and blind that is so special. And I know with the schools being so close by, one thing that I'm so excited about is having this caliber of talent, of theater here in town, so we're not having to bus people down to Montgomery to see a production that they can go right down the road to see their own local talent, too. Yes. And uh, for those of you who saw Sydney Harris and Braden White, I'm so excited to yes. see them play Helen. And I know we have a lot of other people in the community. Who are some of those people that are involved in this cast? Well, doing the leading role of Anne, is Cheryl Livingston, and if you saw Still Magnolia, she played uh, Anel. <laughs> and she did a wonderful job. She did a job great once. job, and she's doing an excellent job as Annie, just with the physical demands and the emotions that wow. Annie hel helds because she uh, definitely had a very troubled life. And so she, how she overcame all of that. We have Scott Smith, who plays Captain Keller. He's also an educator at Comer and in, in the education system as well. And we've got uh, one of our local pastors here at First Methodist, James Haskins. We are so excited. Yes, yes. <laughs> he's playing an Agnes uh -huh. and uh, is doing such a great job as Absolutely. that character. And so uh, there are about 25 people in the cast. And with the crew, we've got over 60 people involved in putting this show together. Wow. Well, and, and you could tell it is a great collaborative effort. It's exciting to see new faces on stage. Yes. And I think that's one of the neat things about the Playhouse is that you're discovering maybe untapped talent. I know in talking to Brother James, you know, he said he gets up there and preaches every Sunday, <laughs> but it's a totally different monster when you're on yes. stage and doing actual memorization of lines. Absolutely. Yes. yes. He has the m most amazing Greek accent. <laughs> he's been <laughs> working on it. On stage, he's been working on it. Um, and that's one thing that our actors have done a very good job of, is to kind of take on a little bit different sort mm. of Alabama accent. Because right. it is a little bit different in the area where Helen Keller grew up. And Absolutely. April Sargent has done an excellent job in uh, adjusting her accent right. and it sounds so authentic now it it's wonderful to see these characters not just be people playing someone, but to actually become that person. Right, and, we, and, and it's a little daunting, I think, when it's a real life person. When you right. know this is, you know, this is not an imaginary yes. character. This is a real person. And, that, and that's really our goal with this show. Is you know, people will be coming to see a play or something or someone or one of the kids that are involved in the show. But very quickly, we hope in that first scene they forget that they're in the theater, right. and they really allow their heart and their minds to be open to the experience of what the theater is all about. Because I think when they do they're going to be challenged and learn something and be inspired by yeah. this story. Definitely. And like we said earlier, such a wonderful tie-in with our resident sculptor, Craig Brown, doing mm -hmm. the sculpture that will actually go at Ivy Green, which I know you actually visited uh, just right up the road, Tuscumbia. It's not <laughs> yes. very long. Uh, but to have yeah, this play that highlights this amazing Alabamian woman who inspired so many, and mm -hmm. Annie Sullivan as well. And as an educator, I know 
what a difference you know one person can make right. in someone's life that that's yes. just an inspirational story and one thing that our, our kids and some of our cast and crew had the opportunity to do when we went to Ivy Green is to visit with Keller Johnson Thompson and in the play there's uh, Helen's little sister which is Mildred the, she's a baby in the play and Mildred decided to stay in Tuscumbia Alabama and grow her family there and uh, they all stayed there and continued to reside and so uh, Keller grew up there and now is a part of the Helen Foundation, wow. the Helen Keller Foundation, and had an opportunity. This is the great great niece of Helen right. Keller, right. and uh, she had, we had an opportunity to meet her, and the kids had an opportunity to discuss with her and to find out even parts and pieces that we didn't know that aren't in the books, that right. aren't on the DVDs and aren't in the interviews, right. those hidden stories about Helen and Annie's life that were so amazing. That is so neat. And I know at Silicon Community Playhouse that you want to go beyond just putting uh, the productions on, but there's actually scholarships that you guys have worked on. And so when you talk about becoming a member of Silicon Community yes. Playhouse, how do you do that? How can you contribute if you want to see this kind of thing continue? Absolutely. Being a member, you know, we are 5013C nonprofit organization. And so uh, our mission is definitely education and to create theatrical experiences for those also that are disabled. And so in order to to do that, we need our memberships, and that is $35 for an individual, $50 for a family, and you can go to scplayhouse.com and sign up. There's more membership information there. You can always visit our Facebook page, and a lot of people are on Facebook this right. day and age, and you can go to that at Silicaga Community Playhouse and become a member. Uh, and there's also other ways that you could donate uh, and help fund what we do in our mission. The scholarships are coming up. We do have scholarship dates for that, and that's coming up in May, and the scholarship information and application is on the website right now which is scplayhouse.com and if you just click through there under uh, scholarships upcoming auditions there'll be a special audition for anyone that's going into some type of theatrical or performing arts mm -hmm. there's a scholarship fund that we've set aside and last year we were able to do three scholarships yes. hoping to do more even this year that's wonderful, and, and I think it is. I mean, we've seen so far, do people are just coming out like, oh, th this is my niche, and they actually want to major in theater, and hopefully yes. we'll continue to see them grow, I know. Yeah. Sharon, what about, so the next production will be a children's production, and when is that coming up, and what was the production again? The production is Aladdin Jr., okay. um, and we will have our auditions beginning the weekend of May 5th, 6th, 7th. And they can find more information about that at scplayhouse.com. Okay, and Dan, go over once again the dates, time, place, how we can get tickets, because we all want to make sure that we see the Miracle Worker at least once. Sure, absolutely. Again, scplayhouse.com. You can see a cast member and get your tickets as well. You can call this number, which is 256-369-3003, and you can reserve your tickets that way as well. Tickets are available at the door, and so you can get those at the door at the high school auditorium. The show dates are April 21st at 6.30 p.m. Saturday, there are two performances on April 22nd. That's 2 o'clock and 6.30. Sunday, the 23rd at 2 o'clock. Friday, the 28th at 6.30. Saturday, the 29th, 2 o'clock.